Chris, Captain, let me know when you're ready. You have, here, here we go. Okay, hi, my name is Kevin Moore. I'm the CTO of a very progressive software development company. And uh, the purpose for using Glass is that we think it's the next step in evolution of computing. So we want to get a jump on things and help integrate it into everyday life. Um, there's a trend with wearable computers, and I think this is one of them, and this is the one we want to approach first. Perfect, thanks a lot. Hi, my name is Keith Acor, I'm a software developer, and I'm uh, using Glass. Um, I think it's a very interesting platform and has a lot of potential to uh, change uh, the way we interact with our computing devices and uh, also for interacting with each other and for photography. So I'm very excited to be developing for it. What do you use it for specifically? You privately now? Why are you using it at the conference? Uh, well, I've only had it for two days now, but I picked it up <laughs> for the conference. I've used it much for uh, uh, taking pictures uh, very casually. Um, I don't have any apps written yet, but I've used some um, of my colleagues' apps. So, like, for example, there was an icebreaker app that uh, gave a way to meet people that are also at this conference. Um, I also get Google Plus notifications um, from communities I'm involved with and uh, updates from an event uh, down the street that's an IO Extended event. So it's been very useful. Great. Thanks a lot. Here we go. My name is Sanjay Vakil. I am a director of mobile at TripAdvisor, and I'm using Google Glass because I worry about what people do when they travel and what technologies TripAdvisor can bring to them to help them have a better experience while they're traveling. What have you been using it for personally here? So what I've been using it for is uh, I have no sense of direction. I typically travel with at least three GPSs, and I've left one at home. Uh, I believe this has a GPS in it, and it's helped get me here. Uh, I don't know if I should say this on film, but I tried it while driving to get my driving directions. It worked reasonably well, um, though it's a little distracting. And so I guess I'm trying to figure out whether I'd use it on a regular basis. And as a proxy for our average user, whether this is uh, the sort of technology people are going to use. Great. Thanks. Hey, my name is Jim McNellis. I'm the CEO of Dido. And uh, I picked up glass about three weeks ago. It was actually there the first day the glass pickup happened. It was pretty cool. Um, over the last three weeks, I've been primarily using glass when I'm doing outdoor activities, such as running, biking, hiking. I find it's really great to be able to have a camera right at my fingertips, and I don't have to carry it in my hand or pull it out of my pocket. I can really capture the moment very quickly. Um, and uh, it's also been really great driving. Uh, I was, I've been surprised to hear that there's already legislation on the table in several states about banning it for driving, and I think it's short-sighted that uh, legislators would start to make policy on a uh, device that they haven't even tried or used yet. Um, my initial reaction is it's about a, it's a, a, a magnitude safer than looking at a cell phone. I would even argue it's maybe even safer than, than glancing down at your dash to find out how fast you're going. It's actually. Hi, my name is Desmond Smith, and I'm a senior product manager with T-Mobile USA. And uh, you asked about me wearing Google Glass. And so uh, primarily I've been using it connected with T-Mobile uh, as a, using my phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot over our 4G LTE network here. And then just playing with glass, taking photos, uh, sharing the experience with folks back home, uh, family and friends, uh, using it as a Bluetooth headset. The audio quality needs a little bit of work, but other than that, uh, photos are great and uh, the experience is pretty cool. How many pictures have you taken? Oh my gosh, the stream is, uh, I'd probably, I'd say close to 50 by now. <laughs> I posted about a dozen so far. Yeah, they're, they're, the stream's quite long now. Great, thanks. I'm Lisa Oshima. I'm a business development and marketing consultant for Socialize Mobilize. And I'm using Glass to be one of the early adopters and also to sort of see where this platform can go. What are you using it for? What have you been using it for here now? Um, so getting notifications as I'm having conversations or I'm in the middle of a task, it's nice to be able to see when something really important comes up. I'm also using it for navigation, taking pictures and videos. It's been great. Thanks a lot. Yeah. I'm yeah. Jay Lee. I work with Dido. We're a Google Apps reseller. We help companies move off of like Microsoft and other legacy email systems onto Google platform. And so we're really excited about Glass to show our customers in terms of the future of what's coming with Google. It's a very new platform. It's, it's not all there yet, but uh, the potential is huge of what you can do there. So right now we're... What have you been using it for here? You personally? Okay, yeah, we've been playing around with it to uh, place, you know, upload data into Google Drive. Uh, we have a few ideas for location-based applications. I think that's going to be uh, huge there, uh, just like Maps is there. And we were excited about some of the Google announcements this week on that. So. Okay. Great.
I'm uh, Mike Musa. I'm an Android developer, and uh, I've been using Glass at the conference to take photos and videos of stuff going on. It's the easiest use of Glass, the nicest use of Glass without having to reach into the pocket and take a picture, and then uh, sharing uh, with my friends and family. Except for it's not working so well, sharing because of the Wi-Fi, the 2.4 gigahertz band Wi-Fi doesn't work too well here with all the you know, all the prep. So I haven't been able to do the sharing part so well, but the picture and video part is really important. Cool. So I'm Nick Fusen. I'm an engineer at Tumblr. Um, and we're here demoing, we've actually built integrated Tumblr into the glass device um, world, uh, which works really well for Tumblr. Tumblr and the glass have the same kind of like mental idea where you have timelines of information you're consuming. Uh, Tumblr has a dashboard where it's full of posts from blogs you're following. Uh, the Glass device has a timeline of all the things in your life that you care about, your email, Tumblr, Facebook, New York Times, there's a whole slew of things. Uh, and the two worlds fit really well together. Like, so what we've done is any of the blog, anytime any of the blogs you follow have a new post, we'll actually kick that post up to your device and you can see it, you know, you can actually have, the device will read the post to you, you can like it, you can reblog it. Hi, I'm Rachel Romeliotis, I'm an editor at O'Reilly and I have glass as you can see. And the reason I'm excited about it is I think it's uh, heralding sort of a new wave of wearables. And right now I'm using it a lot for video and pictures, but I can see asking a question, especially while, where I travel a lot. Okay. Do you think it's an antisocial device? Actually, so far, anyways, people have been uh, really excited and want to talk to me and want to try it on. So okay. it hasn't been yet, but I can see where you could be walking around and sort of in your own world. But hopefully that won't happen. Hi, my name is Stephen Kwan. I work for Zillow. I'm an Android developer. Um, and I picked up my Google Glass yesterday, and in the last day I've used it mainly for taking photos and checking the time. But the reason why I'm interested in Google Glass is because I think there's actually a lot of potential for people to use it to get information about where they are, and so I see a lot of contextual use cases that I could develop apps for. So that's why Great. we'll explore. Thanks a lot. No problem. Here we go. Alright, go. All right. uh, my name is Daniel Ward. I work for the University of New Orleans, uh, doing uh, software research into mainly doing mobile computing. Um, so for Glass for me right now is um, obviously taking lots of pictures. Um, it allows me to take pictures of things that Usually happen fairly quickly that I can't actually reach my phone in time or uh, point and shoot. Uh, I'm working with some other Glass Explorers presently to help get a, um, a few apps um, finished for it. I'm working on a presentation remote right now, so, um, so you can see the slides and you know, your speaker notes and actually move the slides forward. Um, the idea with that is to keep the Glass philosophy of technology get, should get out of the way, so that way you don't need teleprompters that should distract you or note cards of any kind. So. Um, trying to work with that. Um, so I'm Archana Thikru, I work at Genentech. I am a collaboration lead there. And the reason I was interested in Glass is to make collaboration seamless. Um, we don't do collaboration in the morning or evening, it has to be a part of your life. And um, with Glass, it has, um, there's an opportunity to make it so where people can connect to different uh, users in different countries any time of the day. So that's my main reason for wearing glass. Thank you. Uh, I'm a student. I'm uh, majoring in computer science. Uh, right now, I'm just using glass as a luxury device along with my phone. It, it's very useful for the Google Now cards that come and give me snippets of information along with uh, navigation and phone calls and uh, also for photography and uh, I'm looking at the mirror API to see if I can do anything right now but uh, I haven't had, had any good ideas yet. Thank you. Can we talk? Or? Yeah, you. I'm John McLaughlin, I'm a developer. I live here in California. Okay. And uh, so, so why, why are you wearing uh, Google Glass? Uh, well, partially it's um, sort of an interesting new technology component. Partially, it's one of those ground floor things. You know, these are going into developers only right now, so I kind of want to uh, develop apps for it and get in early. Um, how, have been, how have you been using it? 
Well, I got mine just two days ago, so I've just, I've just been having it since the car. I got it on, on Tuesday night. So, so far I'm walking around just taking pictures of things. Um, so it's early days for me still. So, so pictures, that's the main thing. Mostly pictures. I've been doing some, um, with my brother, we've been, we, we had a couple of hangouts. He, he couldn't make I.O. this year, so I've been streaming a few things to him remotely, which has been kind of fun. And, and uh, you know, I've been getting emails and texts and stuff too. Okay, uh, I'm Tom Wilson. I organize the Silicon Valley Develop Google Developers Group. I just got my glass two days ago, and this is the first full day I'm wearing it. Um, I don't have Wi-Fi or any signal, so basically I'm just taking pictures. But as I'm always on camera, I can tell you it's pretty cool. Um, so. Great. Thanks a lot. I forget I'm wearing it.